Would you state your name, please? Yes, I'm Esan Jami. Uh, Mr. Haddad, you take our Western liberty um, to say the most horrifying things about the Jews, about the apostates, and, uh, uh, you know, women, you name it, okay? And is that, you know, that's a free speech, right? You agree with me that you have this liberty in this, in this Western society, in this, you know, in the West. Agree with me, all right? To have this free, free speech? Yes, you, you think that's a good thing, right? Okay, yes, yes, yes he does. I, I believe so. Yeah. Okay. So why, point, is it, why, is it, why is it then that you just stated here, and also here you just made, mentioned the most horrifying things, but you just stated here like, yeah, if they uh, insult my religion, then, or Prophet Muhammad or whatever, then I would walk or I don't like it. So why is it that free speech doesn't go the same way here? Why can I say, why is it so that I can't say that Islam is a retarded religion? Is that, uh, you know, something that, why is it that I can't say that to you? Uh -huh. okay. okay. Yeah, I, I think with, I think with all due respect, this is not an intellectual discussion because if I say to you, if I insult your mom, Oh, well, <laughs> well, if you... You ask a question, let him finish. That's, that's how it goes. Yeah, <laughs> if I insult your mom, yeah, and I, I don't like to use certain words, but if I say, I, I'm so sorry to use it, but if I say, if something, yeah, <laughs> your mom, I think that is indecent. Everyone would say that this is indecent, and everyone will feel that is insult. Okay, I cannot claim that, oh, this is freedom of speech, let me just insult anyone. And see, even in the but Western context, even in the Western context, freedom of speech is limited. In certain countries, now in France, for example, if you deny uh, the, the uh, uh, Armenian, yes, genocide. You know, Armenian genocide, although it is just a freedom of conscience, a freedom of, of, of beliefs, uh, academic discussion, you will be prosecuted. This is a crime. Mm -hmm. Just a second. That's a lot of nonsense what you just said. Let me just be clear on that. But, let, but you know, the thing is, you just mentioned about, you know, the most horrifying things you just mentioned about Jews. That's insulting to Jews. You just mentioned about the women, you know, they have to wear a headscarf or, you know, whatever you just mentioned. That's insulting to some women. And I'm just saying, if, that, if that's the case, that insulting is insulting, why doesn't go the same way around? Okay, why can't I on. just say that? Because that goes the same way. Well, so, yeah, what? Well, mm. Yeah, I, I'm so sorry. I can't answer this question because I already answered it a number of times. And I said, I do not insult. And even I say clearly, if I insult any race, yeah, if I offended any race because of their ethnicity, because of their beliefs, I do apologize. I did not mean it. But those who are waging war against me, those who are waging war and killing people in Palestine, even, even not in Palestine, in any part of the world, of course, those people, we need a firm stance against them. So you are keep repeating the same point. I, I can't understand well, this. Let, 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 let us let, have another. Let, let me let me rephrase yeah. the question. Where you, where in a different way, but um, where you um, uh, uh, appalled or dismayed by the fact that the Swiss country decided not to allow any more minarets to be built, where you, um, and the Swiss said, we know we don't want any mosques. Uh, at least we don't want any signs of mosques. Um, they decided it. Where you. Um, were you against that? Yeah, of course. So, so if if you were against that, um, how come that it is not allowed to buy to to make it to build a church in Saudi Arabia, for instance? Or are you, are you against that as well? See, uh, now uh, and that's that's a sort of same kind of question. Yeah, but put it I, differently. I agree. Yeah. In Vatican, in Vatican, mm -hmm. you are not allowed to have any religion other than a Christianity. Okay. Well, you are not allowed. You are not allowed to build any mosque. Yeah, but, but Fair. That, is, that is the rule. We abide by that rule. And there are some religious places where you cannot have two religions. In Egypt, there are many churches. Mm -hmm. okay? in, um, in many other Muslim countries, there are many churches. Uh, Saudi Arabia has its own religious status, and that's, it is similar to Vatican. And, but so, in Pakistan? 
similar to Vatican. Would you say that big parts of the Uma are like the Vatican? No, in Pakistan there are many churches. Mm -hmm. But it's very difficult for them to, 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 to be built. It's very uh, difficult to I, I, maintain them. I, I don't know about that, but mm -hmm. there are many, many mm -hmm. churches. Uh, yes. So, so, so just to be clear, you say, uh, like the Vatican, uh, big parts of Islam are like the Vatican. That's what you say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but, but so you cannot have two, two, uh, two. Uh, ev even in Saudi Arabia, there are many Christians mm -hmm. who live peacefully. And mm -hmm. I have he in Britain, not here, yeah. in Britain, but one of no, my neighbors no, no, was I, I, a lady I, 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 I who lived in Saudi Arabia. Let me just finish my point. Mm -hmm. I had a, a neighbor who, a lady who lived in Saudi Arabia, and she said the best beautiful days for me when she was living in Saudi Arabia and she said I understand why they ban women from driving why they are I'm sure that there are people understand but, yes. but, but uh, you're, oh. you're saying that, that it's a theocracy I mean I'm not very much in favor of theocracy I'm not very much in favor of, of the state of the Vatican City but um, you say yes we are I like theocracies that's basically what you say I, I don't know about the word theocracy but I any religion has some certain uh, sacred places mm -hmm. that they have to be respected according to the guidelines of that religion. Mm. Okay, Mr. Dibi. Yeah. Uh, um, there is a lot of research about the new generation of Muslims in Europe that shows that um, this new generation a lot of times wants to practice their religion in an in individual way. And it's like secularization, you know, they uh, don't want Sharia. Um, they um, uh, don't want a Muslim party in parliament they dream of the same things that like non-muslims dream about how do you feel about that development of young muslims saying we we this is my faith and i do it on my own way on my own terms and whatever some scholar says um in fatwas or whatever i still choose my own way how, how do you feel about that yeah we fundamentally di disagree with this okay they have their own thoughts and we have to discuss it and this is the way forward so what's wrong with that no, okay. You fundamentally disagree with that. Yeah, no, no, I that's, said that's, yeah, I yeah. fundamentally you, disagree yeah. with this, and I will present my views okay. uh, clearly. Yeah. And other questions, yeah. To what extent do you think Sharia can be implemented in the West at the moment within the within the current uh, situation, where there is you know there is no Islamic rule, but can elements be implemented in which family law, perhaps? Um, and what would ideally be your situation here in the West? Uh, this is a uh, this is a good uh, question an intellectual discussion. Thank you. See, what I... <laughs> thank you. Okay. See, uh, Muslims, Muslims have certain needs. And uh, now there is a philosophical debate. When you deal with two different people, how do you deal with them? Based on their needs? Is this justice? Or how, based on what you qualify as their needs? For example, if a person, uh, I hope that the, the philosophical debate is clear. If a person says, if you offer two people tea with sugar, but the, you are being equal to them both, but a person who has diabetes, he said, no, this is harmful for me. My need is different. So for you to be just, you have to give him according to his needs, provided that his needs will not cause disturb for the rest of the people. So we as Muslims have certain needs. For example, one of our needs is halal meat. Okay? And halal meat, by, by the way, is part of Sharia. Do you agree with me, Fuad, or not? Tawfiq. Tawfiq, sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, do you agree with that halal meat is part of Sharia? Yeah, I, I agree that, uh, well, I choose, no, I choose to eat halal meat. Okay, excellent. So but you I are accept another Muslim to choose to eat something else. <laughs> okay, so you are following Sharia in certain aspects, which means that there are... <laughs> you are a very clever man. <laughs> you are very clever. Thank you for your compliment. <laughs> I'm so, there are, so there are elements of Sharia that are already implemented in the West, such as halal meat, such as uh, mosques, <laughs> such as uh, other things. So, some of our needs as Muslims, and in particular for Muslim women, is to have bodies that are responsible for certain matrimonial issues. For example, if they were abandoned by their husbands for a long time, uh, they need an Islamic body to dissolve their marriage. 
this we are calling for this kind of needs to be incorporated within the British judicial system, within the European judicial system, within the uh, within any system, in order to fulfil those needs for those devastated women. Yeah, I, I get I get your point about the needs, but um, I would I'm sure that several that a lot of women in Western Europe would say. Um, we need to be treated equal on all aspects of the law. That's a deep need for a lot of Western women. Yes, it's, it's, it's a right. We, we yeah. call that a right, a okay. human right. And um, so we will not allow anybody to uh, implement um, uh, uh, anything which um, uh, um, Infringes, infringes on that on, on that equal right principle because we need that. So it's in opposition to each other. It's it's, it's incompatible. Would you agree? This is exactly what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Equal rights. What does it mean? It means give each person the basic of his needs. Yeah. His basic needs. Yeah. So if Muslim women mm -hmm. are requesting, yeah, the, those things, are requesting yes. Yes. those things, mm -hmm. should we? Mm -hmm. be discriminatory against them and say, no, 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 no you I, are I, I, not entirely, allowed to I entirely them. get your point, but um, uh, if um, other women say we need it's not voluntary. Uh, to be treated equal in, uh, in every respect in our state, mm -hmm. then, then they are incompatible uh, with your ideas no, about incompatibility. I haven't but said that I will force my opinions on them. No, but they, uh, this is what power. I'm saying. You underestimate your power. When a woman, a Muslim woman, even I myself, I'm sitting listening here to you, I think this man has studied. He must be right. So, without you forcing Oh, so me, you believe... No, no, no. I'm, I, uh, we do. <laughs> no, it's, it's something that plays... No, it plays in your mind that you want to... Uh, without you forcing someone to do something, you have a lot of influence on people that are still searching for their way uh, uh, with Islam. Do you no, understand not me, that? No, not me. Do you understand that people that are listening to you are maybe scared to do something other than what you are saying? Not because they are afraid of you, but because they want to be a good Muslim according to the scholar. Yeah, let them read the Quran and check whether I'm saying right or wrong. And I call everyone to read the Quran. Mr. Bessems? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Mr. if I am saying, if I am intimidating them, let them check again, it's the Quran. Okay, Mr. Bessems. What the... the question that you found such a wonderful question um, was, you know, before the cups of tea, um, was um, how much of that would you want to implement right now in the West? I mean, you name one example that you know is going to be... The Muslim personal law parts, elements of the Muslim personal law yes. to be incorporated. Yes, That's because you, yeah. name, you name one example that might be a little bit more popular, but there's also, for instance, the aspects where women get less of the inheritance, uh, where it's difficult for women to get a divorce uh, from, from their husband, harder than the other way around. Are those also elements you want to implement? And do your ambitions go beyond family law? No, I don't want them to be forced. I want to provide those facilities for those people who believe that this is according to their conviction and according to their belief. I think this is a fair request. And, and how much should be facilitated? Beyond family law? Or? Um, at, at the moment, I can't say anything beyond family law. Okay? It depends on at people's moment. needs. At the moment. Okay. He said, yes, he said at the moment. Later yeah. on, maybe, maybe more. So are you... Yeah, maybe yes, maybe no, based on the needs of the people. Some people in Parliament, um, I don't want to name like the party again, but uh, think that Muslims like yourself are, are slowly colonizing the West. So they are pr pretending to be nice. They also to tell that to me, pretending to be nice, pretending to be intellectual, but s secretly they are trying to take over. Are you that, sorry, I'm not offending you, are you that silly to be brainwashed no, I don't, I don't. I don't believe so. That. But so you said if, if you, you just said in answer to him about what elements of Sharia you want to implement. So I'll sh uh, Mr. Dibi, ask your question. Make it a bit more are clear. You, are you step? Are you slowly, step by step, trying to implement Sharia in, in what you do as as a scholar? Yeah, I, I will leave it to the people. Okay, if the people requested it, then. It is up so to if, it, if it goes slowly, if the people request slowly, slowly, slowly to get more Sharia, you would agree with it, of course. 
I, I, I have nothing at that moment. No, I have nothing to agree or disagree. This is what they are requesting. You're not just waiting for requests. Yeah. This is what you're okay. promoting. This, I mean, is a, the, this is I promoting. Yeah. Yes. This is I promoting within those devoted Muslims because they are requesting for that. This is one thing. Yeah. I, I'll be even more. I believe that Islam provides solutions for our problems. So I am promoting those solutions for the whole humanity. What's exactly. wrong so with that? The, so at the moment, just family law. And if there's an opportunity to implement more of Sharia law, that's what you would This is promote. what I said. It depends on people. If and they you, are and convinced. You, and and yeah. you're advocating that. That's why you're here in Holland as well. That's why you are at the conference. You're advocating it as well, because you believe in it. I am advocating the light that I am living yes, in exactly. to everyone, so everyone yeah. shares with me that light. Yeah. You're, you're I'll being give you generous. another example. You're being generous about the light of truth of Islam. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Definitely. No, no, that's, but just to be clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I said to, I, okay, uh, I say to everyone, read the Quran and see whether you will get light mm -hmm. or not. But read it with an open heart to see whether there is light in it or not. I am, I'm drawing. Why people are rejecting this? Uh, um, uh, because uh, some people have deeply rooted other beliefs than you do. That's, I think, why people are rejecting If they it. are confident about their belief, yeah, then reading Quran should not shake them. Mm, no. Uh, uh, if they yeah. are confident about what they believe. No, no, most, most probably not. Um, students. Um, uh, um, uh, uh, I'm drawing to a close. Um, I want to thank the audience. I want to thank the press around here. I want to especially thank you three behind the table. I think we had a very interesting debate. I want to thank you for being here. For no uh, uh, um, This was not easy for you because there was a lot of questions to you and you don't, um, I, at least I think you don't have all the answers to it. I think we had a very interesting evening because we saw that we deeply disagree about things. I think we heard uh, a lot of things where a lot of people would deeply disagree uh, with each other. Uh, you just said, um, uh, frankly, that yes, we do fundamentally disagree on uh, uh, on, on certain number of, uh, issues, number yeah. of things. I think that is interesting as such. I think uh, I need to thank you all three very, very much for what, for making it able to talk to each other in this way. Um, and this I, is the way forward. I am. Um, uh, I'm not sure yeah. whether uh, I. I'm sure that it's the way forward to talk to each other. I'm. V I am personally very sure that I disagree with a lot of things you said. Uh, the stoning thing. I yeah, can't. This is, uh, I, 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 I can't I, get yeah, my head around. I, I appreciate <laughs> this. And just well, to finalize, I appreciate that many non-Muslims might not understand and maybe might not appreciate many things that Islam says. Muslims I, and non-Muslims. There are also Muslims. Yeah, Islam. yeah, and there are there are some. Muslims as well. I appreciate this, yeah? And that's why I call everyone to read Quran and to see where we are coming from. This is one thing. I, I, thing I just understood that Quran is coming from, uh, the, from the Christian scripts and the uh, Farsi scripts and, and that sort of thing, but maybe you probably won't agree with that, but that's what I just read in a new no, book. That, that, <laughs> is, uh, that is not the case. And the other thing, that, and the other thing is, uh, I would like to ask one question. Sure. Yeah? Sure. Which is, can anyone, or why don't we think, why Islam is the fastest growing religion despite the media negative negativity about it? Why is it? I, that if, why, you ask, if you ask me, I would if you ask me, I would give you an answer to that. Sure. Okay. I think it's because it's waging war on every on, on every uh, fringe of Islam. If people are accepting Islam. People are accepting Islam out of their own choices, even in Western countries, even in Israel itself. Women are the most people to accept Islam in Britain, in many Western countries. If Islam was wrong, if Islam is giving the wrong answer, why is it the fact that Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world, despite that, despite the negative media? Uh, picture that it portrayed about it. What, do you want to give an answer to that question, or, or well, because I want to close now? But no, uh, just I just wanted to say that ultimately it's so reassuring that it's not going to be about who's a Muslim and who's not. Ultimately, it's going to be about the fact that people who want individual liberty, Muslims and non-Muslims, is going to be such uh, you know it's such a strong 
force, um, and uh, we shouldn't be worried about you know who's Muslim and who's not. In the end, people will decide for themselves. Yeah, yeah, not, of course. Not definitely. listen to you per se. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank okay, you. I would like just uh, a part of this. I would like to uh, thank Holland for hosting me. I really appreciate the Dutch society, irrespective of our differences. I uh, please put this in in, in, in media. media. I really no, no because I'm worried about cut and paste. Yeah, this is what, and that's why I would like to say that if I w was misrepresented in media or I was called radical clerk or extreme clerk, then I would like, uh, I would like to seek uh, a legal advice regarding this, because this for me is blasphemy. So I would like, anyway, I would like to uh, thank really Holland for its hospitality, the Dutch people for their hospitality, and uh, despite our differences, thank you very much. Thanks for everyone. <laughs>